Oh, God. Uh, What's the matter, Austin? I'm about to lose all credibility here. Mm. It's okay, so am I. Blended. Blended. I guess a blend is a new comedy story. Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, and the two of them are both single parents. Both of them have very eccentric kids. Yes, that's, that's to for say sure. the least. Anyways, they go on a blind date, and it turns out they hate each other at first. Where did they go on that date, Austin? Hooters. Hooters of all places. <laughs> and then at one point, Drew Barrymore's character's friend, who turns out to be a total bitch in the movie, mm -hmm. her boyfriend was gonna take her to Africa. On vacation. Drew Barrymore and Adam those characters, they get the trip to Africa without knowing they're gonna run into each other. And basically, the hotel pretty much thinks that they were a couple and they put them together in the same room. And what we get here is not really much more of a grown ups movie, but we get more of a 51st dates type of romantic Thank comedy. God. If you're wondering why we're not filming at the table, <laughs> we decided to change up on the filming locations here. And yes. I think this fits, and you know, we used to film on this exact wall, so you know, we, we thought we'd bring it back to this place. If you guys are wondering if I'm going to rip this movie to shreds, I'm gonna, no. lay, I'm gonna lay it on you guys, simple and straight. I actually liked this movie. Yeah. I know you guys expected me going like this. Fuck this movie, these guys sucked and I am an Adam Sandler fan when his movies are done right. This is Adam Sandler's best movie. And Probably since Funny People. Yeah, and when did that come out? Like 2010, 2011? Yeah, something like that. Grown Ups 2 sucked, Grown Ups 1 sucked. That's my boy I hated. That just go with it? I hated Just Go With It as well. I hated all his recent films up until this one. Well, I'll, wait a second. Just Go With It kind of had the same plot to it. Yeah, but it just it, kind of had the same. But it was did my Dennis Dugan though. Oh, that this was directed by the same guy who now did Fifty First Dates, but also Wedding Singer, which I still have to see. So yeah. this is pretty much like a trilogy. Yeah, you can so kind of like a trilogy like that. with Drew Barrymore yeah, and, and Adam it's, Sandler. It's a nice trilogy. But he should be Adam Sandler's director from now on. Yeah, Dennis Dugan. Period. Adam Sandler. I'm telling you, Dennis Dugan is gonna run your career into the shitter, and he's gonna well, keep. Well, it's, it's been. Oh, and no, I, no, no, he's gonna keep going down the shitter if he works uh -huh. with Dennis Dugan. Hi, I'm Tom! Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy from 50 First Dates makes an appearance, too. If and crazy makes. guys. When it comes to the romantic chemistry, Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler were great together. Yeah. There was one scene in particular, I am not gonna lie, I almost teared up. <laughs> I almost teared up. There were a lot of parts of the movie, I'm not gonna lie, where I did see Adam Sandler trying to go back to the Grown Ups 2 style humor. There's a yeah. lot of times, so like, especially with the overdone jokes. There's this one overrunning gag, which you guys will see, involving Drew Barrymore trying to carry a kid to go to bed. And Terry Crews, I mean, while he was, he had some funny moments in there, I have to say. With too. Da, da, da. <laughs> You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. You just got beat by a girl <laughs> in basketball. I forget the words. With the moments that were really stupid, there was a lot of great heartwarming moments yes. in there. Yeah, and I was like, this is what I want from you, Adam Sandler. I started to see back to the, to the good Adam Sandler movies like... The first dates. Like the first dates or Mr. Mr. Deeds. Yeah. Now, in terms of really bad things, I will say that there were a lot of yeah. jokes that did not hit. And plus, I have to say, it did stretch on for a little too long. <laughs> no, like, I don't think so. I thought the movie was a little too long, and plus those kids at first, holy crap, they were the most. Yeah. For the most part, they did kind of kill in a bad way, but you know, when they did get it, they got it really good. Yeah. It was stupid comedy, but you know what? There were just enough heartwarming moments to keep you in, there, and that chemistry, there's undeniable chemistry there. I will say the kid actors were kind of eh. Yeah, the kid actors were at, yeah. I thought the middle child of Adam Sandler was very annoying. The old, the oldest child was really good. The oldest child was good. The middle yeah. child was, I thought, was annoying as hell. Yeah, I, I had an enjoyable time with this. I really liked the chemistry between Adam Sandler and Drew yeah. Barrymore. Third time's a charm, definitely. I'm going to give this movie, Blended, 4 to 5. Okay. I never expected me to hate on this movie, hate on its guts, but you know what? I came out liking it, so I'm going to give this a 3 out of five stars. Yeah, guys, a three out of five for an Adam Sandler movie. Uh -huh. I said it. All right, so that was Alex and I's review of Blend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment and let us know below. Between this, 50 First Dates and Wayne Singer, which is your favorite Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler collaboration? Oh. Which one is your favorite out of all of them? I know oh. you guys are gonna say Wedding Singer, but if you could decide.
By the way, guys, we are still accepting questions for the Q and A. We have gotten, oh, we've gotten, a, we got it, we got a fair amount in. But we need more. Yeah, we need more. Guys. We want to make this awesome. Yeah, we're gonna make this the funnest Q and A yet. And but with with all the guys in this one, we're gonna make this one the funnest one yet. And believe me, there's gonna be some inside jobs being done. This Don't forget one. me. Austin, Shane, Joe, Joe and, and Lucas. Lucas. Send questions to any of them. Remember, send it to this email that I'm pointing to right here. It's titled the titled the subject Q and A. But until the next review, we will see you guys next time. So, are awesome.